How's it going everyone? Travis here with Real Reviews, where you can get the info you want about the products you need. Today I'm going to show you how I got rid of my cable bill while still getting all of the local channels on every TV in my home with this digital HD antenna from GE. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell to turn on notifications. I'm posting new reviews every week, so be sure not to miss out. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to it. Alright, so this is where we have our antenna mounted. This one is specifically designed for indoor use, so we put it in the attic, but you can get a similar unit for outdoor applications. As a matter of fact, I recently helped my dad install an outdoor antenna at his house, also made by GE, and he's experiencing the same great results I'm getting. I'll link both units in the description so you can check them out yourself. We did a ton of research before purchasing these antennas, and these two were the most impressive ones we could find at their price points. There are obviously several much more expensive options out there, but we're really happy with the quality these antennas provide without breaking the bank. One thing I do want to mention is that we tried this Mattis outdoor antenna before purchasing the GE unit, and we were extremely disappointed. This one only got us a single channel, so we decided to try something different. After installing the GE antenna, my dad is now receiving over 30 channels, so I would definitely recommend the GE unit over this one. Now I'll show you how to connect these antennas into your house's cable network so you can watch local channels on every TV in your home. All you need is a coaxial cable long enough to hook up the antenna to your outdoor cable connection. I'll use my configuration in this video to show how to set everything up, but if you're using an outdoor antenna, don't worry. The process is basically the same, and will actually be a bit easier for your outdoor setup. The first thing you'll want to do for an indoor antenna is mount it at the highest point possible in your attic. You'll need to point the unit in the optimal direction to receive your local channel's signals. To find out what direction is best, you'll want to use a website like the FCC's DTV reception map site shown here. You'll just enter your location here, or click the Go to My Location option. I'll enter a nearby zip code to show you how it works. After entering your location, go ahead and click on each of the stations you would like to receive on your TVs. I'm going to select all of these stations in green. As you can see on the map, most of the stations are located west-northwest. If you're not great with directions, I recommend clicking on a station that is sort of central to all the others and determining the angular direction as shown here. Then you can pull out your phone's compass app and find the degree you need. After that, just make sure you mount your antenna pointing in that direction. One thing to note is that the stations located in other directions will usually still come through as long as they're not outside of your antenna's range. Once you have your antenna mounted, you'll want to connect your coaxial cable to the antenna's output. For indoor applications, you'll need to find a spot on the eaves of your house to drill through so you can feed the cable down to the outdoor cable connection. For outdoor antennas, there's no drilling needed. Just make sure you mount the antenna somewhere near your cable input. Then, you can simply route the coaxial cord to where it needs to go and secure it to the side of your house with whatever hardware you choose. Here's what my setup looks like outside. As you can see, I have my cable running down the side of my house into the outdoor cable box. You'll just need to find which port is the end connector for your house. It may take some trial and error, but you should be able to figure it out with relative ease. Then you'll simply disconnect the incoming cable, connect the cable coming from your antenna, and you're done. When you go back inside, make sure your TV is plugged into a cable outlet, then turn it on and go to settings. You'll be looking for a section called Broadcasting, Channel List, Auto Program, or something along those lines. Then you'll follow your TV's instructions for searching for channels. This step may take a few moments, but once it's complete, you'll instantly gain access to all of the local channels in your area. Repeat these programming steps on each of your TVs, and you can watch local channels on every TV in your home. An alternative option to connecting the cable directly to your TV is to get one of these receiver boxes. This is the one we have connected to our living room TV through HDMI. I'll link it in the description. This receiver has a slot for a USB drive, which allows us to pause and rewind live TV, just like a DVR from a cable company. 
It's really nice for those times when you get distracted from your favorite show and need to rewind so you don't miss a moment. Lastly, I'll show you how great the picture quality is, even when having multiple TVs on at once. As you can see, the reception is fantastic. Even in inclement weather, we have no issues with clarity because the signals collected by these antennas aren't really affected by weather conditions. So, what do you think? My father and I are both really happy with our setups, but does this look like a good option for you? Let me know down in the comments. Alright folks, that's it for this review. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, and don't forget to subscribe to get the most informative reviews on your favorite products. Thanks for watching, and bye for now!